everyone, this is Sayati. Today, I'm going to talk about the different ways of setting the target. The first way by which you can set the target is on the basis of the cost or the price movement. Let's suppose if the cost of any leg increases or decreases by certain points and percentage, then just square it off. So yes, there's a provision available at back so that you can set the target based on the cost or the price movement. The second is on the basis of premium movement. So let's suppose if the premium of any leg increases or decreases by certain points and percentage, then just square it off. So yes, there's a provision available at back end for that as well. The third is based on the underlying. So you can use target on the basis of underlying movement as well. The fourth is Greek, delta and the theta. You can even manage leg target with respect to Greek value as well. These can be handy if you want to make a delta neutral leg. So these are the multiple ways by which you can set the target. Apart from that, you can apply target on the location as well. Suppose you want to square off CE leg if it hits the target or you want to square off PE leg if it hits the target. So there's a provision available at Backinzo for that as well. You can just click on the extra setting. I'll quickly show it to you. Just click on the extra condition. Do you see this button? All CE leg combined PNL. All PE leg combined PNL. So under this maximum profit, you can set the target, right? For CE and for PE, right? Now you can set target on the group of portfolio as well. Uh, and that you can set it under a strategic tag. I'll just quickly show it to you. So if you see here under the strategy tag, you can set maximum profit. That is your target here, right? And if you want ultimate target, ultimate target uh, as in uh, suppose itna mujhe profit mil jaye, to I am happy and contented. Just move me out of that, right? So you can set the ultimate target under user setting. Do you see this button here? Maximum profit, you can set your target under this uh, maximum profit, right? Now, in this video, we'll learn how to specify target for the individual legs, which will be applicable on the specified leg only. So for that, you have to just create a new portfolio. So under multi-leg, I'll just uh, click on the add portfolio. And most loved option strategy, I'll choose that is short straddle. Right? And both the legs have appeared. So Backinzo supports different type of targets. As you can see, if I click here, you can see the different type of targets which are mentioned here. Premium, underlying, strike, absolute premium, delta, and the theta. So if you want to specify points, then just fill the value here under this target value. Okay. Uh, let's say I want uh, four points movement. So then you can just uh, enter you can fill the value, okay? And if you want to specify it in percentage, then just put a percentage sign after value. Let's suppose I want 10%. So for that, I'll just click on the premium for both the legs. And here then I'll specify 10% for both the legs, okay? Right, simple. I'll quickly save this portfolio. Run on all days. Time, I'm choosing it as 9.15. I'm naming it as premium. Okay. And my portfolio is successfully saved. I'll just enable it, recalibrate it, choose simulator. You can choose date of your choice. Suppose I'm going ahead with the 11th November 2022. Just click on the strict timing and start you can visualize your position under this uh, position tab right so uh, uh, for a cell leg you have uh, set target as 10 percent right and current premium jaha pe wo sell hua maan lete 130 pe ye wala leg sell hua right 130 ka 10 percent comes out to be 115 115 rupees right so 115 rupees ye aapka target ho jayega and as you can see, 
इसका टारगेट ऑलरेडी हिट हो चुका है एंड दैट्स द रीजन इसका नेट क्वांटिटी जीरो हो गया राइट इफ यू सी योर आप ये थोड़ा सा इसको स्क्रोल डाउन करोगे तो अंडर दिस ग्रेट यू विल फाइंड लॉग्स लेट टारगेट हिट एट हियर वन वन फाइव राइट सो वन वन फाइव पे ये मेरा जो टारगेट था वो हिट हो चुके हैं ऑफ दिस पीई लेग राइट एंड दैट्स द रीजन नेट क्वांटिटी ये जीरो हो चुकी है सो यहाँ पे वन थर्टी रुपीज मेरा सेल प्राइस था इन दिस केस बैक इन सो विल सेट द लेग टारगेट एज वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन बिकॉज मैंने टारगेट टेन परसेंट स्पेसिफाई करा था एंड वेन एवर इट कम्स बिकम्स इक्वल टू वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन इट विल स्क्वायर ऑफ दैट लेग Here you can set value in points and percentage that I just mentioned, but never ma mention absolute value as 115. कभी भी ऐसा आपको ये mention नहीं करना है. I'll just quickly show it to you. जैसे आपका यहाँ पे जो target है, target में आपने 115 आपने यहाँ पे ये LTP देखा, तो आपने बोला कि 115 से ये 105 आ जाए, तो मेरा square off कर देना. Don't do that. Never mention absolute value like 105 as target. If you want to give an absolute value like target, then in that case, what you have to do is you just have to click on the absolute premium. Okay? So this is the difference. So I'll just show you the case first. That is wherein we have set the target value in the percentage form. Right? Now I'll show you the case two wherein I'll set the target value in points right so now this is my newly made portfolio wherein i'll specify target value in points this time okay so under target i'll choose premium and under target value i am entering here in points that is 15 points for both the legs i'll quickly save this portfolio Right, I'll name it as premium points. Enable it, recalibrate it, simulate it. You can choose date of your choice. I'm going ahead with the 11th November only. Simulate it, start it. Right, and the position you can visualize your positions. So as you can see that 130 was my average sell price for the PE leg and 85 was my average sell price for the CE leg, right? 15 points ka movement, yani 130 se 110 as you can see. Yaha pe ye uh, square off ho gaya hai and you can see that net quantity is zero here, right? If you scroll it down, you can see the leg target hit, right? Leg target hit at 115. So 130 ka 15 points niche ki taraf uh, comes out to be 115. So because uh, back in so doesn't work on the hypothetical values, so leg target hit at 115 hit on the LTP at 110. So yahan pe kuch thoda sa slippage hume dekhne ko mila hai, but that's fine, right? Because it doesn't work on the hypothetical values. So this was the case too, wherein uh, we can specify it in points. Now uh, entering target in points and percentage under premium was a straightforward provision, right? Now, let's see a tricky case. Bhi dekh lete hai. So now, suppose you want individual leg profit, let's say 2,000 rupees. You have 2,000 rupees individual leg ka profit. Chahiye. Is there any provision available in the pack and so? The answer is not a straightforward provision. But now I'm going to show you a hack for it. So what you can do is simple. Suppose you want individual leg profit in rupees, uh, let's say 2000 rupees, you want individual leg ka profit. You want to touch this 2000 rupees, agar, uh, touch karta hai, just square it off. So a straightforward provision, nahi hai, but there's a hack for it. So for that, what you can do is just divide it with the lot size. So if you are a nifty lover, then you can do just, uh, you can just divide it with the lot size. That is 50. So 2000 rupees divided by 50 comes out to be 40. So you can enter this 40 value here. Okay. You can enter the value here under the target value. Okay. Now, 
let's suppose i want to increase the lot size okay the lot quantity of it then in that case what i can do is simple just multiply lot quantity with the lot size that's it so with the five lot quantity 2000 rupees divided by lot quantity into the lot size that comes out to be 8 right i'll quickly show it to you 2000 Divided by five. Five is the five lot quantity into fifty is the lot size. So divided by two fifty comes out to be eight. So you can just straight away enter this eight value under this uh, premium here. So I'll just quickly show it to you. Here I'm entering it as eight. I'm just removing this leg just to showcase you. Okay, I'm naming it as hack, and my portfolio is saved. I'll uh, enable it, recalibrate it, simulate it. I'll choose tenth uh, November two thousand twenty-two, strict time, and here you go. You can visualize your position under. this position tab right so i'll just increase the speed so that i can showcase it to you if it hits the 2000 of rupees of profit so here you go net quantity has become zero that means it has hit the target that is uh, 2100 rupees then 2175 rupees uh, we got as our profit right so this way you can uh, set your target on the basis of uh, you know premium in a trickier manner